I drew this drawing on paper and I photographed it, brought it into Photoshop. I edited it to make it high contrast and just to just be that crisp black and white and I wanted to color it in to print on the risograph. And so because the risograph prints in pink, teal, and yellow, as well as black, which I have here. I have pink, teal, and yellow up here. And what I did was I opened a folder for each of them. So this is when I painted with yellow. I have yellow on my paintbrush here. And over here, I have different gradients. So, um, different opacities, sorry, each each file um, is at a different opacity. So you can see that um, this is just everything that's at 25%, right? And then for some reason I ended up with two 50% folders. That one's 100% yellow, that's 15% yellow. And then I made another group that's blue. And so, um, I made sure that all of my uh, pages are set to multiply and that makes it so that you can see that them the way that they layer and again in my blue group or my teal group I have 75%, 15%, some 5%, 25% and 50%. It looks like I didn't do any 100% teal in this image. Um, then I have another folder for pink again. It's set to multiply, and um, those are the 100% pinks, 75, 25, I did some 15, and some 50. And there it is with the black overlay, and it actually looks pretty close to this um, when I risographed it. And so that hopefully can give you an idea. I did a lot of, I did all of this coloring in here with my mouse with Photoshop and the colors. And I, you use, um, where is it? So yellow, the hex number to match the risograph ink that we have is FFE 800. Um, the teal is 00838A, and the pink, okay, and the pink is FF48B0, um, and I use those to be as, to make it as close to what it will be when it's risographed, um, but this is actually not what you send to the printer because the printer needs to take everything in grayscale. So what I did was the next step. Um, I'll take, let's see, we're looking at blue. So I'll take this group and I will copy it, Command C. And I was gonna do a new document. Um, and we're just going to do a letter and it is horizontal and we want it to be in grayscale. Okay, so now, uh, background or whatever. Um, we're gonna do a new one and command V into that. Oh, look, there's that whole section of blue and it's all in grayscale now and you know what we should just merge them together and this is going to be called blue right um so that's how you do it you're going to have one 
grayscale of each of these that you print together to make your full color print. Voila.